Hey, what are you doing? Hey, get back here! Get back here! No, ammo's too expensive. Take this. Ha! <laughs> Hold on, wait. You you hired it? That was a painter that you hired? Huh. I actually like it. Yeah, no, no, no. I chunked an axe at him, but it was pretty far, so I'm pretty sure I missed. Ugh. Before we get to what we are going to get to today, I want to say thanks to our sponsor of this episode, War Thunder. War Thunder is a military vehicle online combat game. It's free to play on PC, Xbox S and S, PlayStation 5, and the previous platforms, and it's cross-platform, so someone on Xbox can play with someone on PlayStation or PC. And there's no purchase necessary. You simply download and start playing. Oh yeah, the game recently had two huge updates making it look as it never has before. The graphics are incredible. My favorite part is the tanks. You can fly planes, you can get in naval battles, but I like being on the ground trying out different tanks of that era and trying their different ammo and seeing how each one performed. An incredible arsenal of more than 1,700 historically accurate playable tanks, aircraft, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to 1990s. More than 34 million players from all over the world. Massive combined arms battles of over 100 major battlefields from World War II to the end of the Cold War. No extra pilot hardware necessary, fly any aircraft using nothing more than a mouse and keyboard thanks to the game's intuitive mouse aim mode. One other thing I really like about the game is how the vehicles take damage. Now we're not talking these kind of vehicles, but I couldn't find any tanks for us to destroy, so we're just going to see how this thing takes a little bit of damage. This car is actually the one from the Cletus video, from the intro. Uh, and actually that Cletus video was demonetized for the entire first day, which is when we received most of the views, so. Real cool. But thankfully we have sponsors like War Thunder who are gonna come and make sure that even if we are demonetized by YouTube, we still can make great content. So, thank you War Thunder, and guys, please go support them. Link in the description below. Use my link to download for free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And just for you, there's a free bonus for registering. You get a premium ship, aircraft, or tank, and a three-day account boost. War Thunder is lots of fun, and you should play it. And you can. Link in description below. Let me show you what we got for this thing. Today, I decided it'd be cool if we shot a bunch of World War II machine guns. So first we have the German MP40. This is chambered in nine millimeter. We want to start kind of small. I mean, it is a nine millimeter machine gun with like 30 rounds, but we don't want to blow up the car on the first, first like go, the first gun. Next, we're going to move up to the BAR. This is an American gun, the Browning Automatic Rifle. Chambered in a 30 out six. It is also mag fed has these 20 round mags. 30 out six is a big cartridge. If that doesn't stop the car, we're gonna move up to the German MG42. This is chambered in eight mil. It is belt fed and that is a bad round right there. If that doesn't stop the car. We usually end these videos with a 50 BMG. Today would be no different, but this is not a Barrett. This is the Ma Deuce, the M2 Browning, big, belt fed 50 cal machine gun on top of a Sherman tank. We're not firing the Sherman tank. We're just gonna use it to uh, perch the 50 cal on today. I didn't really show you guys around the car much. It's a nice automobile. We have it decorated for the upcoming holiday. Looking very nice, but I don't know that it's actually going to make it uh, all the way to that holiday after what we do to it today. This was, I think, Cletus sliding it into a tree. Dang it, Cletus, man, that's why we can't have nice things. Uh, we also got the inside decorated a little bit. Yeah, you can't, you can't open that door. Whoa, 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 look at all this contraband back here. That's gonna be interesting when it gets hit with machine guns. Oh, huh. we got a little, little pasture up there. Oh my goodness, so festive, so festive. So I'm gonna start off aiming for the back half of the car so I can hit some of those spray paint cans. The, these videos are a little stressful because if you kill the car really fast, the video's over and you don't even get to run through all the guns. If you don't kill the car after you go through all the guns, then you look like a terrible shot. And I don't want anyone to know that I'm a terrible shot. So hopefully I kill the car, but not too soon, but not never. There's a lot of stress on me, guys. A lot of stress on my plate today. The other thing that's really stressful is we have to try to figure out how to get this thing to go around in circles. We want it to be driving. I want it to be a moving car, which I've never shot at a moving car before. So we want it to be driving around in circles so it needs to stay in the same lap and be going faster than idle. So we have to give it a little gas. We're putting something on the pedal. We're gonna put that rock 
on the pedal just a little bit, but not too much. If it starts really going crazy, we won't be able to like get away from it safely. So it's a tricky operation here. Got the steering wheel locked down with some zip ties, good stuff. Let's just see how fast that goes. See, that's too slow. I need faster than this. I'm not giving any gas or steering. That's not bad. I would like a couple more speeds out of it. That's how I measure it. Uh, we got a bigger rock. This car just sounds sick. What if I lean this rock on that rock? Sounds like it hit a rev limit, but it's going at like 1200 RPM. That might be it. Okay, this is promising, I like this. Oh. Okay, I think, I think we're going for it. Yeah, it's about as fast as I'd want to jump out of a car anyway. Okay. Dang it. That's not very fast. All right, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and just rip some machine gun rounds at it and see what happens. I don't know why these cars just aren't reliable. <laughs> we haven't even got the video going. I thought I was gonna go, we started leaving and it just stopped. It was still running though. I'm gonna put, we don't have any oil, but I think, I think this thing's running out of oil. We do have some transmission fluid. I'm just gonna dump that in the crankcase. Just give it a little lubrication. Should be fine, right? Well, for you right there. Oh, missed it. Perfect, that's gonna really help things. And then I'm gonna put some in the transmission too because it's being weird as well. I think, there it looks like there's plenty in there. I just poured water in there because there was no water and then it just started boiling. Yeah, I think we were running a little bit hot there. I squeezed the upper radiator hose and it was just air and I was like, oh, this is bad. She was bone dry. For some reason, all these cars we bought off Craigslist for super cheap are not reliable. MP40, you, you can talk here we go. Lines. Oh, it's already slowing down. Okay, we need something bigger. All right, we're gonna shoot this one off the ground. Ugh. Hitler's buzzsaw. Woo! Holy cow, I think she's fast. We're still rolling, we better go 50 cal. It's still running, but we did stop it. Okay, giddy up partners. That could not have been any more perfect with the explosion at the end. It's just glorious. Oh, my GoPro's in the car. Dang it. That was a brand new GoPro, like brand new GoPro. <laughs> that is shooting paint cans out of the car. Everything's under control, guys. <laughs> They're never gonna invite me back to drive tanks again. That was probably the last time I'd be allowed back here. You gotta admit though. Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> that was a paint can. A hundred spray paint cans was a good idea. There's a 50 pound uh, propane tank in the trunk too. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think we took it out. Gosh. That is the best thing I've ever done. Don't tell drive tanks, but I'm actually pretty happy about this one. Pretty cool. Don't forget this video is sponsored by War Thunder and you can play it for free, link in the description below. We appreciate War Thunder for letting us do stuff like this. There's some weird sparking things coming out. And, oh man, that fire's getting hot. Some like sparkler magnesium firework things. I, it's not gonna do it now that, God, that fire is hot. Yeah, that could have been anyone. I, that wasn't necessarily us. I love the environment. Guys, I'm not, I'm not happy about this either. Like, I know you guys are upset. Like. This is not what we wanted. We just wanted to, to shoot a car. It just happened to catch on fire. And 
pollute a lot. Listen, we've just been waiting out here for like 10 minutes and this thing's just still burning. Still popping cans every once in a while. The paint, <laughs> see, just like that. The paint's a little different color than it was before. We'll go check her out after a bit of cool down time. 2009 Toyota Camry, uh, low miles, like 49,000 miles and easy miles all. is a Sunday driver, $19,000. Don't lowball me, I know what I got. Yeah, she's pretty nice. It's been about 45 minutes, actually. As you can see, there's still fire up here. There's still fire in the cab. The fire in the cab is like on a pile of paint cans, which I'm hoping they're all popped, but I'm still a little worried one's gonna just explode because they still go off periodically. A lot of stuff happened. It's crazy like how much more room there is in the engine bay once you melt away all the plastics. There's tons of room in there. Our tire, gone. The rim, though, I might be able to sell that. I could probably get, I could probably get a little money off that. That, let's come, that's a battery that's just sitting above the flame. I would say let's just get away from that. It actually was not our intention to explode the car in a ball of fire, but I think we all are happy it happened. So if you were wondering, man, will an eight millimeter machine gun or a 50 BMG machine gun stop a car? Demolition, now we know it will. I answered that question because I know a lot of you guys were like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna explode. It did. Also, sorry, I don't know what happened. The BAR was locked when I tried to do it. So, demolition in the future, I promise to you, I will make a video with a full auto BAR just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. <laughs> you stuck him in the butt. <laughs> <laughs>